In the past 30 days, this animated kids channel made anywhere from 3000 to 58000 euros with their faceless videos. And creating these high quality videos is actually way easier than you might think. Which is why in this video I will show you exactly how you can make these videos too using only free AI tools. Let's get started. So welcome to the show. In our first step, we're starting with the scripting for a sketch video. So we come to JetGPT. It's just jetopenai.com up here. JetGPT 3.5 is fine. And then we type in our first prompt. Please write me I will put you now over a general script or prompt that you can use for the best results. You can adjust it to your liking, the tonality, how many characters you want, how long the video should be. This is my prompt right now. Please write me a short controversial sketch between two animated characters discussing social media, maximum 15 seconds long. Here we go. And you see JGPT created the first prompt. It's a little bit short. I would like to have it a little bit longer. I already did this here in another script I used before. It's the same prompt and then I further adjusted one. A little bit more uh, sense of black humor here, for example. A little bit more influencers, a little bit more all the audience, stuff like this. And then I came up with this. The first character says, step right up, folks. In the grand bazaar of life, your attention is the currency that matters. You again, what are you selling this time? And that goes so on and I actually kind of like it. So that's for me for the script part. Let's head over to the voiceover part in the next step. For our next step, we could also speak it in ourselves, but let's do it at AI and we're gonna go to 11labs.io. They have a very nice free text-to-speech feature here. And after you sign in, here with the email address, you get to speech synthesis. And what we want to make sure here right now, closing the old one here, we Take what character one says, copy this one, paste it in here, and then we had enter and create five dots. This is basically the pause where the other character is speaking then. So we can see character one, character two, the rabbit, you again. So we skip this one, go now for this guy again, paste it in, hit enter, one, two, three, four, five. So create some pause in between. So this is our text that we want to have as a voiceover. Now comes the fun part. We're selecting a voice that we like. I mean, there are so many of here. Never mistake motion for action. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. Our distrust is very expensive. Okay, let's go for Patrick. This is the guy I want. And then we just hit here, generate. Step right up, folks. In the grand bazaar of life, your attention is the currency that matters. You can then further adjust the voice settings here to have it a little bit more clarity. You can play around with these bars, but so far I like it and I gonna take this guy and download it here. Then if we like this one, delete this one and we're gonna go to our char character again and copy the text here again. One, two, three, four, five. And basically repeat the whole process. It's really the same process um, as the other one. So ideas are the beginning points of all thought. If you find a voice that you like, then hit download. In the end, you should come up with two different voice overs as an audio file. And then we're heading over to step three, which is the also very nice fun part to actually animate our characters. Yippee yay Schweinebacke. Now let's come to step number three, which is the actual animation. So we got our script, we got our voiceovers created, and now we're going to adobe.com slash express. Um, you can log in, it's free. Wait, let me go back into here. Yes, new express Adobe. And then we need to look for here. Suggested quick actions click on view all and then we have here animate from audio this is going to be the fun part here so here i already started once because i tested this whole process once more out again uh anyway you can choose here your character as you like can have this little ogre guy here or this or this is sasquatch mm, i'm gonna go for this guy. I like my little goat guy here. I'm 
making it as big as possible so we have the most um, frame around it. This is the character selection, then we can select the background. We can also choose here already different backgrounds, but it's gonna be later on way much harder to separate them, especially if we want to have two characters talking to each other. Otherwise you can also use such a scenery. Um, so we're gonna use the custom color, make green is quite good because it's the total opposite of all the colors that we have in our little goat guy here. And the size, I choose for this time by four by five in this Instagram setting. Um, which gives me the most leverage for just a single character here. Then we can record either way our um, dialogue here, but we have our little voiceover already created. So I'm gonna go to browse, check where I re-edit here my seller voice, seller audio, upload it, and let's make this magic happen. Yes, baby. Hit on click and play. Step right up, folks. The best deals in town. Only until supplies last. <laughs> I love this so much. I mean, it's so nice how easy it is. You have the whole body movement. You have the eye movement. You have the mouth movement. Mwah. I just love that. Um, now we just need to click download here. Blop, and go back. Uh, let me see, go back to our character and then we can choose a character for our other character basically. I'm gonna use this weird little cat guy here. Gonna close it a little bit. So perfect. But you can see the green background would work so good if we want to separate them from the background later on in the next step because of his green shirt. So I'm gonna go to background choose a different color pink is probably quite nice yeah separates him very clearly and makes it easier in the next step then we're gonna go replace audio browse go to our via voice i called this guy and repeat the whole process so after a couple of minutes our other guy is now also ready you can see where the voice is you again? What are you selling this time? Just love how easy and simple this is. And, and click here on download as well. And that's so far for the character animation to bring all together. We're gonna go now to the fourth and final step um, and finish up our video. So welcome to our fourth and final step of this whole project. We're gonna go and search for CapCut Web Editor. Got it already here. Edit video online. Close this one here. And then we can upload our files here that we just rendered out um, with Adobe. So Mr. Goat Guy and Mr. Buyer Voice. So you can do basically everything also in this web editor, but I like the desktop app a little bit more because you can more fine tune it, have a little bit more options. So we will go to CapCut all in one web editor and download for Mac. And I guess it also exists for Windows, but I'm not 100% sure on this one. Otherwise, just follow on the online one. Have our first guy. Yes, put the ratio to 16 by 9 and the crucial step is here then go to have our character selected, go to smart tools, remove background and then here chroma key. It's not auto removal. These are not so good for this animated stuff for real life, probably better. But when we have clear colors as we have here, the purple, uh, the pink and the blue of the guy, we just can go to chroma key select our purple that we just had here and it's <laughs> already done all the work for us here you can adjust intensity a little bit but you see right off the get-go way much nicer ah this is why these web apps are okay but they are not not 100 there yet so let me switch to the CapCut app Okay, welcome to our CapCut desk editor. So we hit on new project up here. Let's try it like this. Perfect. Uh, we import all to footage again. 
So of our seller guy and our buyer voice. Perfect. Now we drag our seller guy down here, adjust the ratio to 16 by nine. So we have a little bit more space. And the same thing what we could do in the web ad is now go to cutout, chroma key, color picker, pick the green color and go as it gets better. Around 25 should be usually fine. You can also adjust the shadow and gonna do the same thing for our other folk here. Drag him a little bit to the side, click the chroma key, select the pink, strength, a little bit of shadow and that's it if we want to face them now each other we hit our goat man and go to the mirror and to sell this whole thing a little bit better i found an image on canva you can also go to google images or wherever you would like to find one and have basically a background image of a wall for mine here I want to make sure it's the lowest one. So in the background, we have our mall, then we have our blue cat, and then my favorite goat animation guy. And you can see to set them in the right direction and height. So we can see here already in the waveform where our goat speaks, then the cat, then the goat again, the cat, goat, cat, goat. And let's see it for my final <laughs> result. Hit it. Step right up, folks. The best deals in town, only until supplies last. You again? What are you selling this time? Attention, my friend. I've got shiny distractions, sensational headlines, and viral videos for sale. What's the price? Nothing, my friend. Just your precious time, your focus, and your sanity. Ah, love the attention economy, where we willingly trade our minds for a quick dopamine <laughs> hit. <laughs> You've got it, my friend. But don't worry. We accept likes and shares as payment, too. So who is next? Stupid f this year for Christmas. As you can see, I think it's pretty amazing in this short amount of time, which kind of results you can get. I also created in CapCut some captions and some zoom in and some little effects. If you want to learn more about this, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about content creation and you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Stupid f this year for Christmas.